All right, folks, listen, I'm finna show you my version of jerk chicken. And guess what? We're gonna do it in this pan and we're gonna add some rice. Let's get it. Okay, so look, you guys can, I'm gonna do a little fly over the ingredients, right? So you can see what it entails to, you know, make this, right? So I got my chicken over here, which I'm gonna have to like trim. I see it's got a little bit of fat. You don't have to do that, but I like to do that because I'm taking pictures of it. I want it to look the best possible way. But you know that skin right there, that's the flavor. And some of the people don't want to have the uh, skin on there, so I'm gonna do a little trimming. As you see, these ingredients, right? Don't forget the full ingredient list will be on my website. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, I'm gonna address this part right here. I have the garlic paste and I have the actual cloves right here, right? You guys know I get my gratification and it's always best to use fresh, you know, to use a fresh clove, right? But I wanna hurry up and get rid of this right here so this can be gone. This was bought by, you know, another person that came out here to cook with me. So listen, this works. Obviously, you know, fresh works. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. We finna get right into this and make this happen. So listen, this right here is my chicken. You see this piece right here? I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this off, right? Just clean up some of this skin, all this little loose. And by the way, I've already washed and cleaned my chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, I know that what the uh, FDA says now about washing the chicken, but you know what? Our background makes us do all of our chicken the right way. Now, I'm gonna be using two different types of chicken, right? The reason I tell you, I'm telling you guys that, because listen, obviously that's with the skin. You can see we got a bone, but then over here, I got boneless and skinless thighs, right? So the cooking time is gonna be a little different. So I just wanna pull these out, the ones with the skin, look at it, see if I have any excess. All right, so I trimmed those already. I did go ahead and pull my boneless and skinless and just put it right there, right? Before I put it in a bowl, because what we wanna do is season, now will be a great time for me to come over here and hit bake, because we need to preheat 350 degrees when we hit the start. Now. I'm using cast iron. I don't know if you guys saw in the very beginning when I did my intro, I had a hex clad uh, pan on here, right? That is oven safe. I could have used that, but I just like the way this is going to look when I get done with it with the rice and the chicken on top, right? So I'm, my tool of choice today is cast iron. Now, you want to take this bowl, any bowl that you have, I'm going to put these over here like this because we're going to go ahead and season them. You know what I mean? But when it comes to browning, I'm going to brown them separately because obviously when you look at it, if you do boneless, skinless, they thinner. It wouldn't make a difference if I was doing all over the thin, right? But I'm doing a mixture just to show you guys, you know, cause somebody gonna ask, even though I show these with skin, can you use boneless skinless? Okay, so look, I'm gonna talk about this right here. This was referred to me from Daddy's. Uh, you guys might know him as Daddy's uh, Kitchen. He's right here on YouTube. Look, this is the jerk seasoning that I'm gonna be using. He brought me three, uh, I think three bottles. This is my last bottle right here, right? So you wanna go ahead and add yourself some here. So one, that's two. You can use a little bit more, that's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, it could take two to three, you know, heaping spoonfuls, right? And then, instead of me using uh, bouillon powder, I'm using bouillon. This is better than bouillon, you know what I mean? So you can use that, but don't forget, on my website, I'll give it to you. you can, I'll show you the substitution and everything you can use to make this, you know, great dish, right? So listen, I got a glove on. I'm gonna go ahead, and what we wanna do is just get this, mar you know, it's almost like a marinade, but you wanna get this, all in here. Now, when you got the boneless, skinless, look at how it's cut open like that because they deboned it. You just want to make sure it's completely, you know, covered with all of your seasoning. Here, we're going to add just a couple of pinches of salt. I'm going to still work this in also, right? Look at this right here, folks. So I just pat that, flip it over, you know what I mean? And then we, we can rework it. All right, so I'm bringing up the heat on my cast iron skillet, right? So what I want to do is I want to add just maybe two tablespoons of oil, right? You know my tool of choice, I always like to use infused olive oil made by Branch and Vine. I can tell by the smell right now, that's my, my garlic infused. All right, so I can see I'm starting to get a little bit of the, you know, smoke up off of that, right? So I'm gonna start with my skin on and then my bone in, right? I'm gonna start with the skin side down. Okay, so I go about two and a half minutes to three minutes, right? You see how this is loose? I'm gonna turn this over just like this. We're not cooking the chicken all the way through. What we're doing is browning it, getting a little bit of crisp on here. You know what I mean? Because this is all the flavor, folks. Right? Now this was like a little bit of a smaller piece. Let me adjust it. I made an adjustment to my fire because I felt like it was cooking just a little bit high, you know, a little bit fast. So I put my splash guard on here so it keeps me putting oil all over my counter. You know what I mean? And uh, we just go from there. Now, 
we just gonna go about two minutes now. It didn't have time to settle down. Like I said, I just lowered my temperature. I'm at a medium flame right now. Remember, we're not trying to cook it through. Cause we're gonna stick this in the oven. That's what the preheat was for. Super easy, big on flavor. I promise you, everybody gonna have you making this. All right, so here, I'll show you the bottom of that. Look at that right there. If you know jerk, you know what you're looking at. Right? Oh yeah, look. I'm gonna leave that one down just a little bit longer. We look at this one here. Oh yeah, nice, juicy. You see that? Now, I got the boneless. Normally it wouldn't be here like this. Either I'd have went all boneless or I would have did all of the ones with the bone and the chicken with the skin on top, right? I could have all done it one shot. But again, I'm doing something different, right? So we look at the bottom of this now. Oh yeah, don't want to squeeze it too much. Don't want to lose, keep as much juice in eternally as possible. Now I'm going to come with my boneless skinless, right? This won't take long at all. I'll just lay this in here like that and I put it down where the skin would be, you know, the skin side down, but you know we don't have no skin. So, leave it like that, put this on the top. Move this bowl out of the way. Now we finna prep our uh, veggie. All right, so look, I want you guys to come in here and look down at the bottom of this, right? I did when I hit, I took a, uh, a paper towel, just took off the surface, right? But you can see it still left some, you know, some uh, fine on the bottom, right? So now I'm getting ready to add. But before I add, I was about to drop that in there. I could have, you know what I mean? Just want to add just a little bit of more oil in there. Just like you see, I'm gonna wait just a couple of minutes. I got a medium heat underneath the bottom of this. All right, then I'm gonna add, you know, that's equivalent to like a large sprig, right? A thyme in the inside. Just cook this in here like that. Now we're gonna add a little bit of garlic. All right, so now I'm getting ready to add my kidney beans, right? I went ahead and knocked off the, like the surface, you know, liquid, you know what I mean? I didn't completely drain it as you guys can see. Now we're just gonna add that to it like that. We're gonna let this work, right? You guys should be, when you make this, your kitchen should be on fire right now, as far as like all of the aromatics, you know, marrying together. This right here is right. All right. Next, we're gonna come with our rice. I'm on a medium flame, folks. Stay with me, right? So I'll add my rice. Now, we got some ingredients just left over when you get to this stage, right? Now, this is what you're gonna like it because now you just add it. Add everything, right? Oops. No, I know that we added some dry ingredients and it's starting to thicken up because we had it under the heat, right? But we don't worry. You know why? Because we got to come with that coconut milk. Now, when you got coconut milk, remember I said you add all of the rest of the ingredients that you have. It didn't make no difference if I would have grabbed the broth or whatever, you know, whichever first. If there is no preference, you just want to get it all in here. Now you guys can see why I said we want to have a medium high flame, right? Now, if everything didn't get mixed up, now what you stirring right now and mixing, everything does. Then we add our broth. All right, so listen, when you make this, it's traditionally made with a, uh, a scotch bonnet, right? Which is hard for me to find out here in the desert. I probably have to find that like at a specific store, which I haven't found yet, right? So we usually just take a habanero. They kind of look the same, you know what I mean? And no, no, we put that in there. Now, this part right here, you don't have to add this, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna leave it out because I got people behind the camera that swear they don't do nothing hot. I'm trying to tell them this is just gonna be a little bit on the spicy side. You know, be very, real nice and mild, right? So I'm not gonna put this in here, but I just wanna let you guys know it is optional. And you know, I know that this is not a scotch bonnet. So now I'll just take the bay leaf, you know what I mean? Just submerge these just like this, right? Give it a little bit of a stir. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just start adding my, my chicken in. Remember, we didn't cook it. This right here is gonna make it where, you know, the chicken to be 165 in the middle. Right, that's what we're looking for. This dark meat, so even if it's 170, that's okay. You know what I mean? But in order for us to get this, you know, cooked, you know what I mean? We gotta get this like this. And look at the color right now. That should get you guys going. Now remember, this was a thinner piece of meat. It's okay, I'm gonna tuck this in here like this and just put that just like you see. All right, we're gonna do the same for this. Now don't forget, normally it won't be this way. Why? Because we have all the same meat, but I just wanna show everybody. 
Okay, so after putting all of that liquid in there, you know, the coconut rice and the chicken stock or broth, whichever one you guys will use, right? Then we got the two cups of that rice. Now you see why, you'll see. Now this is gonna be a cool one because everybody don't have tops, especially for the, uh, the cast iron skillets, right? We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes and guess what? Uncovered. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this green onion right here. You know what I mean? We're gonna use this for a little bit of that garnish. Okay, so listen, my timer just went off, right? So I'll pull this out. Now this is chicken, folks. You gotta get yourself one of these, right? This is my meat thermometer. Gotta have one of these. That's the only way we are gonna be sure that this is over 165. And not just over 165, we wanna put this in here. Okay, that's 187. Don't forget, I told you guys, this is dark meat. Let's check this one over here. Oh, it's so, the probe goes in like butter. This one right here, 172. Now these two, this one, and oh that one over there why was it that low when this one over here okay this one here is at 189 so we good right but this right here this way we can sleep right so now i'm gonna take this out I'll show it so you guys can see it let's put it right here for now look at that right there a masterpiece folks now i took this fork right here just to kind of like fluff it up but really what i want to do is let it rest it'll kind of like dry out right so I'm gonna leave it alone, but guess what? Chef choice, although you get a chance to taste it, right? So I'm gonna taste this, we're gonna let it rest. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of this uh, green onion on the top. You know what I mean? We're gonna turn it into a star. I'm not finna over talk it. Mm. Okay, folks, so look, went ahead, hit it with a little garnish on the top. Now the only thing we gotta do is like, you know, eat it, right? So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna go for this piece right here. See, nothing sticks down to the bottom. You know what I mean? Uh, we just add this on here like that. And you know what? All of this right here is part of my chicken. All right, so we'll just put it like that. So now we got like jerk rice. Look at that. So listen, ain't no need me talking about nothing. You know what I mean? We finna go in here and just get down and get ourselves a, get ourselves a, a bite, right? So let me do it this way, right? Oh yeah, get a little rice. A little red bean, you see that right there? Cooked all the way through, still nice, soft, juicy. Hey, I'm not finna over talk it. You know what I'm finna do, folks. Cheers, y'all. All right, folks, listen. There's gonna be a lot of you guys that probably haven't had anything jerk before, and a lot of people say that they wanna try it. This right here gets you in the ballpark, right? I'm not gonna say it's authentic, but this right here, the taste from this is nice. Now, let's just talk about the heat you know, that's in here. Now we use that jerk seasoning. You guys usually use uh, dry or wet. Don't forget it's gonna have a little spices in it, right? So I will say this is kid friendly, but I guess you guys, I ask you guys to go ahead and taste it and just to see, and let me know down in the comment section below what you think. But if you ask AB's opinion, I'm gonna tell you, yeah, they can eat it. Now, I tasted this and when you taste it, you know, when you taste just the rice, it got a little heat to it. But once you add that chicken, once it's all done and you, mm, I can tell you anybody can eat it and this will almost get you down there talking, you know, in the in the Caribbean tongue. You know what I mean? Uh, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and please don't forget to share. Share with the world and let them know there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? I'm finna pour myself a glass of, ah, I know some of y'all said Kool-Aid, huh? But now nah, it's summertime. I'm finna give me some ice cold, you know, tea, and I'm finna sit down and I'm finna eat. I'm out. Peace. Thank you.